welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video all about aquatic perfumes. So perfumes that have notes in them, synthetic notes in them that smell like the ocean, the sea breeze, that very, very fresh watery smell. If you are new here, then welcome to my channel. It's all about perfumes, fragrances. I have hundreds of videos all about perfumes, range reviews, um, videos about types of perfume like this, fragrance notes, so do check them out if you're a perfume fan like me. And if you're a regular and you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. And as always, guys, I will link where you can buy all these perfumes in the US and Europe. So the first one I wanted to start off with is one from the Replica range from Maison Margiela. You guys know I've been trying these out. I did a video about the range a few weeks ago and there was one in there that really just struck me as a really accurate example of a aquatic perfume and that is the one called Sailing Day. The idea about the replica range is that the smell is a replica of a real life situation. So this one is the smell of being out on a sailboat on the sea and it really does smell like that. It's got all these sort of sea notes in, it doesn't have a seaweed wipe but it has that smell of the ocean, do you know what I mean? And they put a little bit of aldehyde in here as well which again reminds me of the ocean juniper, uh, cedar, ambergris, but, but predominantly it's that oceanic smell. It smells very, very fresh, very, very clean, like a clean cotton, clean sheet smell, but it does smell like being outside and, and taking a big breath in as you're sailing along at 20 miles an hour on the coast, on the ocean. So very, very fresh and definitely a great example of an aquatic perfume. Lots of perfumes look like they're going to be aquatic or are marketed as aquatic, like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, lots of like visual pictures of the sea, but then in reality they're not aquatic. They're usually citrus perfumes with lemon, um, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue is a green apple-y smell with citrus, so that is not a tr an aquatic in my opinion, that is a citrus perfume. So one of the things that aquatic perfumes often get criticised for is their lasting power and with Sailing Day from the Replica range I found it to be have good project projection and lasting power to be maybe about three or four hours but the one perfume which is the best for lasting of all the aquatic perfumes no doubt is Izzy Miyake's Load Izzy. This is the strongest aquatic perfume you can lay your hands on. It is a very, very clean smell. It has some lotus notes in there. Lotus is a very aquatic floral note. Of course, you know, lotuses grow like in the water in a very watery way. I think it has a bit of lily in as well, but predominantly it just smells like clean, like clean cotton, outdoors, fresh air smell. But for whatever reason, the formula means that this sticks around and lasts insanely well. People I know that wear this, it's like I can smell them before I see them. And it smell, they smell all day for hours and hours and hours after they've smelled it. Really, really good. You can just do one spray, two spray, and it will cling to you and last. It's absolutely incredible. The company that makes this, uh, Kenneth Green, I think, they make a lot of really good perfumes like Ellie Saab, like Jimmy Choo, a lot of perfumes that I really like, Jean-Paul Gaultier, and I have to say that I just think this is so well made. Whatever their secret is, you know, they're absolute geniuses because this lasts such good value for money. There's an eau de toilette and an eau de parfum, but they're both good for lasting, so don't stress. I know a lot of eau de toilettes are very weak and don't last like the eau de parfum, whereas for the here, you can get the eau de toilette and it's just going to be a bit lighter, but they're still amazing for lasting. A few years ago, they released a summer version of Lode Izzy 2017, and you can still buy it, so I'll leave it linked where I can find it. And this was really, really aquatic and a really, really like fresh version of the original. They added a little bit of guava in here, which gives it um, that watery but slightly fruity scent. So if you find the lotus and the lily of Loda Izzy 
a like if you're not a fan of those fragrance notes then try this summer one because it's very very clean and fresh and having that slight fruitiness in makes it summery but means it's not got that lotusy note which is slightly floral instead it's slightly fruity so something a bit different to call out there next on my list is the new Calvin Klein CK1 everyone this is looking very similar to the CK1 which is so famous came out um, in the 90s I think which is actually a sort of citrusy and um, apple-y perfume CK everyone is more aquatic very it has a bit of orange in there as well it has a little bit of tea note in there but predominantly it's that aquatic smell that synthetic man-made creation that smells like the sea it smells like water and it's got a little kick of ginger in there as well which makes it really like fresh and um like really uplifting to smell it is of course a unisex perfume as well like ck1 so just a very clean fresh aquatic smell i would also recommend ck1 summer from last year 2019 which is still widely available like i say i'll leave it linked again they've used some tea notes in here tea leaves but it's very very aquatic and fresh like a fresher version of CK1 removing those citrusy fruity notes and instead making this aquatic tea leaf note so both of these from CK very very aquatic great examples of aquatics I did also want to call out that Calvin Klein released a Eternity Aqua, so a flanker from their Eternity range. This uses cucumber as the main note, so even though strictly that is a fruit and not or, or a vegetable and not a you know aquatic note, cucumber of course is predominantly water. Is it like 80-90% water? So I'm kind of counting it here because it is very fresh and aquatic and clean smelling, but it's a cucumber cleanness. So something on a similar lines to the Loader Izzy but a much lighter line is the Davidoff Cool Water. Of course again the marketing, the branding is all about this watery smell, the bottle is that blue. It actually has that lotus note as the main note again and it also has melon. Now melon, I, I was thinking of doing a dedicated vi video about melon but there just aren't enough melon perfumes really so I've included melon here in this aquatic video because like cucumber melon is predominantly water and it gives a very fresh smell which is kind which is quite aquatic in my opinion more than it is fruity. So cool water is melon, it's lotus, it's water lily and then it has some citrus notes in as well. So overall it gives a very fresh light smell which is aquatic though it does have that slight floraliness, like citrusiness in which means it's not quite as aquatic as something like Sailing Day from the Replica range but I'm still adding it in here, I'm still letting them off. Personally, I don't find cool water amazing for lasting, but it is very affordable, so I guess you get what you pay for. And there's a nice summer edition that came out last year, which is really focusing on the melon. So this one smells more melony than the original. So if you do like melon, you're looking for a melon smell, then summer 2019 of cool water was all melon. One I thought I'd add in here is Versace's Bright Crystal. Now this is a very airy, fresh, peony pomegranate smell though it does have aquatic notes in here and the aquatic notes work very well with pomegranate which is mainly water peony which is a very watery floral smell it also has a bit of lotus notes in here and a bit of yuzu which is kind of like a lemon so overall it gives a very clean fresh smell and it's somewhere you know it's a pomegranate aquatic like it's just I'm including it in this video even though it isn't a true aquatic because I really like it and I find it lingers and it stays and there's an absolute version as well which is stronger and better for lasting and if you don't mind the fact that it's not a true aquatic and it has some of these other notes in then I can't recommend this enough and the bottle is beautiful. Michael Kors's turquoise, the big square turquoise coloured bottle is water lily, aquatic notes, cucumber again, a bit of citrus, so very very light and breezy and airy and fresh. I think this has been discontinued but you can still get it so I'll leave it linked but if you like your Michael Kors's, you like these kind of bottles then this is a cucumber freshness. 
For a slightly woody aquatic from Hermes, their Eau de Malve Blue, Bleu, in, in the circular bottle, very blue, is super aquatic and then it has a slight undertone of woody notes. So imagine like driftwood on the sea or a washed up um, log on a beach, you know, it's mainly an aquatic smell, it's mainly that sea fresh breeze smell and then a slight undertone of woodiness which does help this last. So as you'd expect from Hermes, very classy smell, the woody notes makes it smell a bit expensive and they've actually put a hint of patchouli in here as well to help it last but it is absolutely predominantly an aquatic note that is um dominating the smell of this one another one that's discontinued but is still you can pick up um from roberto cavalli they released an aqua perfume blue bottle with the signature cavalli lid this again is all those aquatic watery notes and then a slight white floral underneath jasmine lily of the valley so this is a floral aquatic i'd say so if you like your white florals your jasmine your lily of the valley lily of the valley of course is quite sort of a watery smell isn't it then this is your aquatic way of getting them you might remember from the dng anthology range their number one was a blue bottle these are all discontinued except for number three which is is a um, lovely fresh rhubarb perfume but this number one this blue bottle you can still get it even though it's discontinued and this was a aquatic but with juniper berries underneath cedarwood underneath cardamom underneath so very unisex I'd say a bit of vetiver underneath so it's kind of like a is it aromatic is it oriental i don't even know but the, the, the number one note was this aquaticness you know hence the blue color of the liquid but then in the dry down you're getting all these interesting slightly spicy woody notes which make this feel a little bit masculine but i thought i'd add it in because you know if you do like did like it or you're curious then get now's the time to get it before it's completely gone from the Armani Diamonds range, they released a pink one called Diamonds Club, and this was aquatic. Um, it's very pretty and feminine with a orangey rose underneath, but the main note was aquatic, and again, this is quite hard to find, even though you can still find it in some places. So do check it out if you like original diamonds. This is like, I guess, a fresher aquatic summer version of the original. So Victoria's Secret have some aquatic body sprays they have turquoise waves which is an aquatic smell slightly citrusy but mainly just fresh aquatic smell they also have exotic which is a seawater smell with a little bit of iris in and i also know that in america bath and body works have a fragrance that came out this year called atlantic and um, i've mentioned before we don't have bath and body works here in the uk so i haven't been able to smell this but if you're in the us and um, let me know what it smells like in the comments down below because this one looks like it's going to be very aquatic and then one thing i wanted to flag is that from armani they've released a new aqua de gioia called ocean de gioia blue bottle aquatic branding i was like oh of course this will definitely be an, an aquatic version from from them it's not aquatic at all it's a lily of the valley perfume with a load of citrus in so not aquatic, it's a citrus floral. So don't be deceived by the branding and the marketing. This is not, and the name, this is not an aquatic perfume. It's not an oceanic perfume. It is a citrus and lily of the valley perfume. So that's it guys. So let me know what your favorite aquatic, oceanic, watery perfume is down below in the comments. I'm sure there's others that you could add to this list that I've not included. If you found this video useful, helpful, interesting, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do hit that subscribe button and show your support. As always, I would really appreciate that. But that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.